Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Friday. Today is May 8th, 2020. And here is our agenda for the lesson. We're going to start off with a warm up. We're going to go on to some Mother's Day writing. Number two, we're going to practice a sprint. And number three, we're going to come outside with me and you're going to listen to The Tiny Seed by Eric Carle. So we're going to start off with a warm up. And we are going to revisit our book of blends and digraphs. So make sure you have enough room for this. We're going to start off with BL. BL says, bull, 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 blaster. Ready, boys and girls? BR. BR says, burr, 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 brush. CL. CL says, cool, cool, cool. Clap. CR. CR says cur, 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 creep. DR says dur, 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 drive. FL says full, 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 fly. FR says fur, 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 freeze. GL says gul, 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 glue. We make it into an action. GR says gur, 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 grin. SL, start at the top. SL says sul, 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 slide. WH says wa, 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 whisper. TH says pretend to throw the ball. SH says, shh, 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 shake. CH says, ch, 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 chin. And that is the end. Okay, you're going to repeat after me. E, ed, e. O, octopus, a. A, apple, a. I, itch, e. U, up, a. C H chin ch. C K sock. S H ship sh. T H thumb. W H whistle wa. Very good, boys and girls. All right, our new sight words for the week review. Let's do one at a time. Okay, three times. Ready? Dog, dog. Dog. D-O-G spells dog. Good job. Three times. Come. 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 C-O-M-E spells come. The number one. O-N-E. Three times. Ready, boys and girls? One. 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 Awesome. Now this is the number two. T-W-O is the number two. Three times. Ready? Two. Two, two, good. And review, there's no A in they. Three times, ready? They, they, they. Good job. All right, I'm gonna put all of this to the side. I'm going to get my agenda board. We did our warm up. I'm going, oh, flying pen or flying marker. I'm gonna check warm up, finished. Very good. All right, so next, boys and girls. I sent this to your parents. If you have it, you can get it now. If it's finished, you're just gonna follow along. If you wanna do it with me, that's great too. And if you don't have it at all, you're just going to listen. So it's really up to you. If you wanna do it step by step with me right now, if you already did it, you can follow along or you can just listen, all right? But we are gonna go through what it says. So it starts off. All about my mom. Remember, boys and girls, mommies do so many special things for us. They take care of us. They make sure that we're happy. And on Sunday, it's Mother's Day. So we want to make sure that we give them something as a token of our appreciation of how much we love, love, love them. So I thought this would be a nice idea to put inside a card that you decorate and you give it to them on Mother's Day, which is Sunday. Okay, so don't forget Mother's Day. All right, all about my mom. My mom's name is, so I'm going to fill this out like I'm giving this to my mom. So my mom's name is Mary. So I'm going to fill that in the top line. You're not going to write Mary because that's not the name of your mom. So whatever your mom's name is, you're going to put it on the top line. You're going to stretch it out. 
She is blank years old. My mom is 73. And I love, I love when this is finished and the ages that you think your moms are. Some people think their moms are like 62, 17. So ask your mom how old she is and put it right on that line right there. <laughs> mom and I like to. So what's something that you do with your mom? What is something that you like to do together? My mom and I like to, I'm going to write, go out to eat. Now maybe you like to uh, read stories with your mom. You like to go on adventures with your mom. Whatever it is, you put it on the line, okay? My mom, mom likes to say uh, something like, be good. My mom really loves me. She likes to eat. Ooh, my mom loves to eat nuts. She's always eating nuts and oats. So that's probably not what your mom likes. Your mom probably likes something different. So if she likes pizza or if she likes whatever she likes to eat, maybe she likes a particular piece of fruit, you're going to put it on that line, okay? Next, she likes to drink. My mom loves to drink water. She's just like me. We drink lots and lots of water. Maybe your mom likes to drink something different like lemonade, whatever it is that she likes to drink. My mom's job is, so my mom is retired, so I'm going to put she is retired, T-I-R-E-D. She's retired, that means that she used to work, but she doesn't work anymore. She used to work in a pharmacy. So whatever your mom's job is, you're going to write that down, okay? And maybe her job is just to take care of you, which is the most important job in the world, okay? So you're going to write that she's just, that she's your mom, okay? Stay at home mom, maybe. If she had time, she would like to maybe travel to Italy, I'll put. My mom, I think, would like to do that. So you're going to write, if she had time, she would like to do something, whatever you think could fit there. Mom is really good at organizing. My mom is just like me. She loves to organize. Organize. And what's something your mom's good at? I know I'm going really fast here. If you need to pause the video, please do that, okay? If I could go anywhere in the world with her, we go, where would we go? I'm going to put a tropical island. Tropical island. A tropical island. I love my mom because she is kind and a good listener. So I always tell boys and girls, you're not gonna write things like, I love my mom because she buys me something, because anyone can buy you something. You love your mom because she takes care of you and she spends time with you. So you wanna focus on saying things like that, okay? Like reading you stories at night, you love her because she makes your favorite grilled cheese sandwich on the weekend, something like that, okay? Bye, and then I'm gonna write my name. All right, Mrs. B, and then I'm going to write the date, which is May 8th, 2020. And then you can give it to her just like this. You can put it in a card. You can make something to go along with it, whatever you want to do, okay? Just a suggestion, but it would be really special if you could make something for her for Mother's Day. Remember, it's on Sunday. All right. So next, I have my board, and I'm going to check off Mother's Day writing. And then... On the back, I have a sprint. Now, boys and girls, I am super, super impressed with your sprints and how well you're doing. Your parents are sending me pictures. Super duper impressed. So this is a mixed review. This one has addition and subtraction on it. So I'm just going to show you. Quickly, I'm going to go down on how I would do it. Remember, the hand that holds the pencil is going to obviously do the writing, whatever your dominant hand is. So if you're right-handed or left-handed. The other hand is what would do um, the actions with adding or subtracting, okay? All right, so two plus one. So it's a little tricky for me to show you here, so I have to kind of do it on the same hand so you can see it. So two plus one, I know, is three, okay? Two and one is three. Four and one is five. Four, it says four plus one. Next one, five, look at that sign, minus one. So I have five. I'm going to take one away, take that thumb away, and I have four fingers left. 
3 plus 1, so 3 and 1 more, is 4. 3 and 2 more, 3, 4, 5. 4 minus 2, 4. Take away 2, I can see, is 2. 5 minus 3 is 2. 5 minus 2 is 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. 5 minus 4 is 1. Now, on this side, let's move my camera just a little bit. So I have one, so something is the same as 1 plus 2. So 1 plus 2 I know is 3. So 3 is the same as 1 plus 2. 5 plus 0 is 5. So something is the same as 3 minus 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. 5 minus 4 is 1. 5 minus 1 is 4. You always want to make sure, boys and girls, that you're looking at that sign because it's going to start getting a little bit tricky because they're going to switch it up. 3 plus 0 equals 3. 1, okay, now this one stumps a lot of friends. 1 minus 0. You're not minusing, you're not taking any away, so you still have that 1. So don't get confused on that one. 1 minus 0 is still that 1, okay? 5 minus all 5 is 0. And remember, the only way that we get better at our sprints is doing them over and over and over again. All right, so from now until the end of the year, I'm going to be assigning one a day as practice. Okay, boys and girls, that's the only way to get better is doing it over and over and over again. And if we were at school, that's exactly what we'd be doing. So let me get my agenda board. So I just did sprint practice, check. So next is the tiny seed, and I do need to get set up a little bit for that. So I am going to stop the video and do a part two outside, okay? So you are going to look for part two. It's coming up next, and you're going to listen to the story of Eric Carl, the tiny little seed, okay? All right, so I'll see you in one minute.